Hey everyone, the new Riverdale trailer is here. No thanks, Satan, it's not. Yes, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina Part 3 is just a few weeks away, and Netflix has decided to post a trailer within a music video. And if this trailer is any indication, we are in for the darkest season yet. I'm not going to spend a lot of time discussing the music video part because I want to get right into the juicy stuff from the show. So let's go straight to hell and see what we can find. Of course, the title of this trailer is a reference to where we left off in Part 2. Let's go to hell and get my boyfriend back. With Nick Scratch having sacrificed himself to contain Lucifer, it looks like Sabrina and the gang will spend much of this chapter focusing on how to save Nick and stomp the Lord of Darkness for good. We see Nick here wrapped in chains, symbolic of being trapped, and I'm not sure what I can say about this, but bold move, Harvey. Bold move. Here is Prudence caressing the back of Ambrose, suggesting further romance between the two. Now we get into some of the actual clips from Part 3. Sabrina is searching for a book, likely in a forbidden part of the Witch Academy, which if you remember Aunt Zelda is now High Priestess of. We get a few shots of Nick imprisoned and contained in some sort of magical incantation. We last left off in part two with him being taken into hell by Lilith. But I don't know about you guys, but I don't really get a hell vibe from this place. It looks more like the dungeons of the Witch Academy, and this red robe on him looks eerily similar to Sabrina's cape, which coincidentally she wears at the beginning of the video. Remember the main focus of the season is Sabrina trying to save Nick, so this could be a shot of her attempting to save him, but how she got him out of hell we don't exactly know. And it looks like this season will feature a lot of magical rituals. Here we see Prudence and Ambrose partaking in something that looks pretty complicated with some skull and bones at the foreground and some creepy doll figure. Prudence ended the season wanting to find her father, Faustus Blackwood, and so my guess is this ritual has something to do with this. She even cuts herself, pouring blood over a map if that's not enough evidence for you. A map where we can make out the word Shetland. The Shetland Islands are a group of islands in northern Scotland, and the surname Blackwood is said to originate from Scotland. Harvey, Roz, and Theo have started their own band. Because the aspect ratio changes here, you can bet this is a real clip from the season and not an add-in for the music video trailer. Now things start to get grim. We have a bunch of scarecrows, or perhaps corpses, lining the path for what appears to be Theo, Sabrina, Roz, and Harvey. This could take place in the real world, but come on, who needs that many scarecrows? Plus, the fog gave me flashbacks to when Sabrina had to save Harvey from Limbo. But if I were to hazard a guess, they're venturing off to hell in search of Nick. Ah, now we get some cool shots of Hell High Society and the three wise demons. The arrival of these demons last chapter signaled the arrival of the Antichrist, much like how the arrival of the three wise men signaled the arrival of Christ. They do not like the idea of Sabrina becoming Lucifer's bride since she's half mortal and they see that as beneath them. They will likely do whatever it takes to ensure she never sits on the throne, which may mean stopping her from saving Nick. Now we get this brief shot of Lucifer here and an even quicker shot of him tackling Nick. This likely is symbolic of the struggle going on in Nick's body between himself and Lucifer. Expect to see more of this back and forth in the season. And all hail Lilith, Queen of Hell, wearing her crown of bones. Now here's our first shot of Zelda and Hilda outside what appears to be the Academy. Zelda is now High Priestess and their white outfits suggest some type of ritual or ceremony. They're standing in front of an odd group of people, some of them wearing masks adorned with wood. According to Deadline, a mysterious carnival rolls into town run by pagans looking to resurrect an ancient evil. This is likely them. Here's a shot showing off Lilith in the gorgeous set design with stained glass depicting various events in Hell's history. This is followed by Zelda in front of some chalkboards which appear to show schematics for the Acheron configuration. If you remember back last season, they tried to imprison Lucifer in the Acheron, but it didn't work. Perhaps they found a new way to solve this problem. Here we have Theo running towards one of these scarecrows, which, since it appears to be someone close to him and judging by his tattered shirt, I think this is probably his Uncle Jesse. Prudence and Ambrose continue their adventure, and I can't help but get a Bayou Swamp House type of vibe here, leading me to believe Prudence might be looking into voodoo or some other type of dark magic in her quest. Which makes sense, since the actress here portrays a woman by the name of Mambo Marie, described as a gorgeous voodoo priestess who will help them track down Blackwood. 
would. Ah, here we have Aunt Hilda looking up at the moon, and in the background you can see other students in their white outfits arranged in a circle on the ground. So this is obviously some sort of ritual, probably to stop those pagans, but also seeing that she's fixated on the moon, there's a little tiny chance I'm wondering if it has anything to do with her love last season, Dr. Cerberus. Here we have Sabrina and Ambrose overlooking a passed out Nick as she pours blood over him. My best guess is that this is one of her first attempts to save him, but it won't work. We have Lilith on this creepy ass throne, and our first shot of this guy, Caliban, a prince of hell, sculpted from the clay from the city of Pandemonium. According to my sources, with Lucifer gone, there is a battle for control over who reigns over hell, and this Caliban guy sees his opportunity to rule, and judging by this shot here, many of the established hell elite prefer him rather than Sabrina or Lilith. A bloody Sabrina slaps Caliban, and the others are like, oh shit, so expect a bigger showdown between these two. That's it for this trailer breakdown. I hope you'll like and subscribe as I'll be coming out with an entire season breakdown a day after the season's release on January 25th. Leave a comment below on your theories for the season and be sure to follow me on Twitter at ThinkStoryYT. Until next time, remember, Daddy loves you very much.